All right, this will get us back to our water line instead of being under or over our water line. 316 stainless steel stuff. That we don't need? Yeah, I kept like 10 of everything for ourselves. So, anyway. Abigail's doing her dishes, that's awesome. So, how many boxes of stuff now is this that you have given away? I don't know, I think this is number five. My wife should be really proud of me. I am very proud of you. This man is the king of being prepared. Like, <laughs> when they talk about two is one and one is none, he kind of takes that to like four. Yeah. <laughs> should always have four. I am excited we are getting so close. Todd has two days worth of a job that he has committed to go do that he leaves for tomorrow. Then he's leaving the truck and trailer, the Suburban and the RV trailer in Houston. That's the hard, scary part is without any work, <laughs> other than a few things that we have going on online and you guys, when you guys watch, give us a thumbs up, share it. That all helps this channel grow. So we appreciate that a lot. Previously on Spoon Drifter, we spent three years in a boatyard bringing our 40-year-old hurricane-damaged sailboat back to life. Todd, I, and four of our 10 kids knew nothing about boats when we started, but with time, we have repowered, re-rigged, and turned this boat into a home that's nearly ready for the next big adventure. We spent this summer learning to sail and adding the last essential pieces before we sail to Florida and leave the U.S. for bluer waters. Okay, so I have been hearing grinding and cutting noises coming from my room. Todd is supposed to be putting and stowing this stuff away, not doing a project. So I'm not sure what he's doing. Let's go see what's going on. What have you been up to? I made this better. You made that better? We didn't want to make that better. We wanted to put stuff away. Well, but stuff's got to go in there and I've got to get to it. So look at that. Huh? 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 have access to that without taking the bed up. Some of it anyway. <laughs> He's more comfortable cutting up things and putting things back together than he is sorting and minimizing. Painting? Liberty is painting a mask. Liberty is our resident artist. She's very creative. We did first run provisioning just for the next 10 days. So we are carless. We do not have a car. This is the real deal. We don't have a car down here. We still have the car. Okay. But it's just it's 300 miles away. One or two more days. We're not sure the weather, how it's going to go tomorrow. But for sure, Friday looks awesome. Yeah, not today though. 40 knot winds. The boat is a rocket. Alright, the day of departure. Got the laundry in this morning. A few things to tidy up on the boat. Hopefully we'll get out of here probably, I don't know, three to five hours. We don't have very far to go today. I think we're only going about 10, 10 miles or so. So uh, that's the best place to anchor to get ready for the next day because the next day is like 40 something miles, I think. So it's a little, uh, a little further to go. Oh, get her done and get out of Dodge. We're gonna miss this place for sure, but it's time to move on. Yeah, we're not ready. <laughs> we have been working, 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 working like crazy, but there's still a lot of things to stow to be ready for today. Maybe the best thing to do, dear, to start with, is to just get rid of the things we know we're getting rid of. That would be a good one to pull off the boat. 
Yeah. Isn't there supposed to be a light on this thing that's charging? All right. The kitchen is mostly secure. I put my bottles of water onto the floor. This is what's left of the mess Todd still needs to put away. That is pulled down. We have an hour until we're supposed to be leaving. Abigail is outside. Let's go see what she's doing. Abigail is washing the deck. I'm not sure what that's about. I mean, the boat is dirty. That wouldn't have been a priority on my list, but that's what Todd wanted done. So there we go. Yes, we cleaned the prop recently, but with an electric motor, it's very important that your prop be clean to get the most efficient use out of your power. of how to beach a whale, right? So, is it clean? Clean. The people we met in Rockport and Port Aransas have a special place in our heart. We couldn't have gotten to this point without all of your help. Thank you so much. We still have our bedroom. Now we are headed to Florida via the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, as the Gulf of Mexico is not a friendly place to sail this time of year. Our next planned stop is Galveston to spend Christmas with my family. Okay, we're doing it, guys. We have left the dog. Todd has just turned on the generator because there is no solar. <gasps> that just jumped. We've got dolphins, a whole pot of dolphins around us. The kids want to go fishing. It's all the fun things. And I'm still just a little nervous. <laughs> sit in the dinghy. <laughs> I'm just still like, oh, this is, I'm like, let's just get to our anchorage and get anchored and then we will have arrived for the night and start again tomorrow. What's the point of two minutes? Oh. The fog isn't as bad as it looked like from shore. Change in an hour, though. Good. Why do you need two maps? Just back up. We're still learning how to use this chart plotter, so we know how to use this. Okay, we made the turn off of the channel, headed. <laughs> into the mists. We're looking for an anchorage off of Mud Island. There's almost no wind, so it should be really nice tonight. But it's a little, like there's seven or eight feet of water, which means we'll only have a couple feet under our keel. That's always like nervy. But everybody says it's good. We have about two miles to where the anchorage is marked on the charts. It's our first anchorage of this grand adventure. <laughs> Hi, my name is Todd with Spoon Drifter. How are you? We're out having this beautiful day and we're gonna get ready to anchor in a few minutes right over there. This. This is the kind of water you would like to water ski on. It's kind of almost glass, man. You could have a blast water skiing in this. Yeah, 
should head that way a little bit. Let's slow it down. Point it's over there, and we'll be ready to drop the okay, anchor. We'll figure that out. I'm ready. You are. And if we get where we want to go, we'll we'll drop her in and see where we are. A little bit that way, kind of. It looks like they're being into the wind, so. Right, we're at one knot. Just a long dinghy at the shore if you want to go to shore. We're not going to shore. What about the dog? The dog's going to learn to go to the bathroom on the creek. Break by fire, huh? I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try this and see how it works. So that it's supposed to move. Okay, we're down. <laughs> so much for a slow break on this thing. It just goes when it goes. So now let's uh, put it in reverse. Gently. Straight with a straight rudder. Well, we still have to back up because we got to let more chain out. We're just basically sitting on the bottom, but there's no current, no wind. So we're sitting in one place. That's how you fall in. The view from the boat. We got some fog coming in. Abigail's fishing. Gabe is fishing. Liberty is trying to get Denali to learn how to go potty on her grass. Where's the skirt? Yes. <laughs> what? So, how long did that take us? We don't really know. I don't know when we left. We, you know. <laughs> well, we got some video we footage. We know that it was after right two. Down. What it was shortly was? after two, right. and it's only just 4.50. So it's somewhere around two hours. Two and a half hours, probably. We're in hundreds of feet of 10 feet water. Hundreds I mean, of feet? <laughs> hundreds of feet in diameter okay, of yes. 10 feet deep water. So it's like, you know. Turn that sucker down. Can you tell Abigail she's not going to use my nice fabric scissors to cut fish bait? <laughs> Yes. No. That would not that, be good. That's no. gross. Yeah. The other, the other scissors are in the junk jar. All right. We got to turn the radio off. Apparently, everybody talking. So, yeah. so um, the kids are fishing. That was their like first order of business was to get out here and try their hand at fishing. There's dolphins. There are lots of dolphins. Yes, there are lots of dolphins. <sighs> Our batteries are in good shape. We're at like 99% right now. Well, in fairness, they uh, had the generator helping them most of the way. It's I, all learning experience. Yeah, it's all learning experience. But basically, we weren't motoring fast enough to drain them faster than the generator could I resupply. Keep up with so, it. so how's the anchor? So far, so good. I moved the anchor over because I think we moved the actual center point. So we'll see how it holds out. I gotta watch it for a few hours here and see how it's holding out. Yeah, but. because that whole thing, like, look at the land and find up two points, we aren't close enough to do that. And it's just we're like the two land. We're like two miles offshore here from yeah. the land. The land is like this little stretch of dark. But we got dolphins. Oh, the dolphins, it doesn't focus. It doesn't focus on the dolphins. It's, it's because it's foggy. It's because we're special. We're here. We get to see the dolphins. You don't. And you don't. <laughs> I don't know. But there were a lot of dolphins today. It was kind of fun. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go uh, tidy up the rest of the boat and get some dinner made. Don't let go of Dad. Don't rip my jacket, cat. So. Liberty, Abigail is sure that the cat's going to try and jump off the boat and get the dolphins. Right. Yeah. Never yeah. said that, not me. <laughs> 
we will see you next Sunday when we keep on this journey. Great. All right. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye. We have a dense fog alert until noon today, which means that we couldn't make our second anchorage. Holy cats, guys. Huh? Friends told us we needed radar. I'm not sure if we can well, swing it financially. So we just discovered we might have a problem. The uh, big generator does not appear to be charging the starting battery for it. I have some good news and some bad news. Okay. Now the bad news is it sounds like there's chunks of stuff loose inside. I can hear it rattling. 